going on? I'm Sergio. I'm Chris. And we are two members of Thieves and Villains, and we're here to introduce you today to our lovely home where we're touring, the uh, Champagne Room. Welcome. Hot Breathe bottles. it in. Breathe it in. And all right, here we are. Just like some lights on for you. Let's see what we got going on here. This is a pretty typical scenario. We got the uh, GPS, which is the Which every band should have. Yeah, it would be like, um, Chris from our band, the other Chris, not this Chris, uh, drinks double gulps all day long. Like he'll drink at least two or three of these like a day. And uh, so you'll almost literally, you'll probably never not see one of these sitting shopping on, like right next to him. Uh, this is like, pretty much Chris's like safe haven over here. Like yeah. he, he, has his he has his double gulp, he has his bag which he likes to ash in, which almost caught on fire. While we were driving today, which is a very, very, very safe thing to do. Yeah, that's his domain. Like he, he drives 99.9 of percent of the time. So you know, you've got like his style of trash, like on the floor right here, mm -hmm. which he, he likes to collect his trash. It seems so he's got a little cigarettes. And uh, yeah, and then Joe tends to be shock on our drummer, and he always has seems to have his clothes, his clothes and sunglasses, and his shades, and stuff like out that. there. Um, so here we are in the trusty middle. As you can see, we took our time to really clean and. Um, Tidy things up for you guys. Yeah. We knew you were coming, so we tried to, um, yeah, make it make it as clean as possible. Yeah, no, this is where this is kind of like our little free. This space. is the lion's den. Yeah. I call this the lion's den. This, this is where is me like and him are always at. We're always chilling yeah. here. We have a cooler which is filled with nothing but gross items, and I'm not even gonna open that. Yeah, there's nothing even in there. in there. It smells so bad, I can't even describe Box. it to you. Any day bags in here. We keep the cash box in here. We have headphones. Yeah, we chill, music. chill out, chill out. We won't do the van a little too fast. This is called the unnecessary shit gray box. It uh, it's it's literally serves no purpose. It has all of Chris's old clothes in it and random books that I've read literally over the past year. And it doesn't belong there. All it does is it takes up a ton of room. And every day, or at least once a week, one of us says like, "Why don't we get rid of this box?" It kind of goes around and then it stops. And the box has literally been there since we got the van. So it's R2-D2 in the middle. It's like a little cabinet space. And we just keep uh, anything from napkins to toothpicks and stuff on the van. Mustard. To mustard. The trusty, the trusty pouch. With, uh, we got the biography of Slash and Guns N' Roses. We all read this like one after the other and it's insane. It's the same guitar, notebooks and drawing stuff. But typically this area is like, it's pretty clean. It's just, it'll have like clutter, like book bags or like a box of records. And then this is the trusty garbage like a little spot, like we tend to uh, just stick garbage here as like an acting garbage can until we get to a uh, gas station. But other than that, this is pretty simple. A little spot where we put a base sheet on there where we, you know, everything we have to do that day. But this is pretty much the spot where you come to if like you want to kind of like sit up and hang out and blah blah blah. We, you know, it's, a, it's a lion's den. This is the infamous middle row. This is where pretty much every tour manager that's ever come with us or merch person or anything, they always seem to gravitate to this row just by default. Um, it's always, it'll always be a band member in this row and that row, but this is just tends to be empty. This usually, um, as long as no one's in it, it also it, uh, doubles as the blanket row, which you know about. Blankets, sleeping bags, pillows, other miscellaneous sleeping items. Piled sometimes up to here, mm -hmm. and also Depending doubles. Depending on how many people are in there. Yeah. And also you could pass out on top of all of them. That's been a popular pastime. If, uh, if you're on a long drive and then you switch out, you just pass out right here. But yeah, there's not too much that goes on in this row besides. It's it's probably the most like it's like a safe spot because you're kind of you're almost in limbo right here. You're between the front and back right there. Some like safe. All right, and then, all right, I have all my um, this is where I keep like all my clothes and stuff. Like I wore this yesterday when it gets all real sweaty and disgusting. I just hang it up here and let it dry for a while. No, I I, I keep the windows open and uh, he's got his drawing right there. Yeah. That's that's the thing that's traveled. This is, this is a, a picture that my friend colored in for me. And I, uh, I had to tape it up here because I love her. And she, it's just a little reminder of home and like keeps me like you know yeah. sane. Until it the... got ripped to pieces by the way. Yeah, and, yeah, that, that wasn't too good. But yeah, this is usually where I spend most of my time. I'll just come back here and chill and listen to music, or just like uh, sometimes I'll write in my little, in my little book. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. I mean, I sleep back here and. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a good sleep. That's a good. It's also the bumpiest spot. There's also, it also is. it's like a roller coaster. The ceiling goes untalked about, but the ceiling catches uh, most of the, of the cigarette smoke that, that tends to gravitate from uh, Chris up front. And it also has these like little unusual circle patches that I look like that are Velcro. But yeah, no, a lot of uh, I don't want to say too many crazy things have ever happened in here, but it, it's uh, it's been with us. And uh, 
more funny things. More funny things than crazy things, like, you know, attempting to throw something out the window and having it hit the window and come back at you, or, you know, all the funny near accidents that we get to on a daily basis when someone's texting and driving. You know, just all the normal things, but, yeah, this is pretty much the champagne room.